Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how ChatGPT along with UiPath can take off the burden of going through hundreds of resumes by hiring teams. As we all know, the hiring process can be a daunting task for any organization and going through countless resumes to take up a lot of time and resources to select one candidate is a roller coaster ride. But with the help of ChatGPT's integration with UiPath, this process can be made easier, faster, and more efficient. So if you are someone who is tired of shifting through endless resumes or a hiring manager looking for a smarter way to handle the hiring process, or also someone, a techie like me, who wants to understand how this AI, revolutionary AI technology can put off all the burden from the hiring team, then this video is for you. Let's deep dive and explore how ChatGPT along with UiPath can make the hiring process a breeze. So without any ado, let's get into the video. But before going to that, I let me share my screen. Um, So if you're watching my channel for the first time, I'm Harika and I make videos on UiPath and uh, along with that, I do videos on Robocop and I'm really much interested to do videos on the chat GPT. So going forward, you'll look a lot of videos coming through on my channel on chat GPT's advancements. So if you like the content on my video, do subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you'll get the videos as soon as I upload them and also give a big thumbs up. That gives me a lot of motivation to upload more videos. So without any ado, let's get into the video and the technicality of how we can actually put off the burden from the hiring team to some extent by you know not letting them to go through hundreds of resumes so firstly uh, if you haven't watched the previous video where i have talked about ask gpt uh, you know activity so please check out that video because this video uh, i'm going to use this particular activity which i have explained very detailed in the previous video so you can find the link of that particular video somewhere on the top of this video or else you can find in the description of this video as well so uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll just show you firstly what is the resume that I'm using here so if you just see I just kept my resume here so you can see my resume so I just modified it a little bit it's not the actual one I just deleted some of the you know um, it's just like a dummy one okay <laughs> because I don't wanted to keep in all the sensitive information over here uh, okay so I just kept in some of the details where it's fine to you know go ahead with so um information provided in this resume is not appropriate it's just the dummy data so i just kept uh, you can see i just uh, gave some project name like project one some claim processing claim removal and data updating and email processing and and i kept some pocs and all okay and as well as i just mentioned uh, that i have overall this experience and i did uh, you know uh, projects where i have took responsibility on average handling time return on investment to the client and i worked on pocs like chatbot document understanding machine learning extractors and all this and i kept some certifications and i kept the technical skills all these things and educational qualifications right so this is a um uh you know the resume like how a normal resume would look like right so every day in and day out a hiring team has to go in all these kind of resumes and they have to shortlist people just check you know if that person has a, a you know skill set that matches their job description okay so what i'm going to do here is i don't want all this information i just want to read the summary in a one or two liners and I wanted to understand if that person is a fit for this profile or not okay so I'm asking my chat GPT to do that for me so how can I do that let's go here let's build it a model this will give me the summary of the resume okay so um, just ignore this I just ran it but just you know <laughs> checking purpose so you will see shortly i'll just do step into that puts me uh the that gives me the overall summary of that person okay so if you see here i have the summary provided by my chat 
GPT. So, Harika Media Venkata is a skilled professional with six plus years of overall IT experience, four plus years into UI path developer. Expertise in agile and scrum process. She has worked in three projects, including claim processing, claim removal, updating, and the email processing. She has done multiple POCs, document understanding, artificial intelligence, machine learning, etc. She holds a bachelor degree in ECE and is certified in RPA and Robocop, right? So, this much is enough for me to un understand and analyze if the person is a fit for my requirement or not right i don't have to go through the description i don't have to go through the person who really like you know uh, that person who is taking the interview can go through the description and all details but for me to take to screen through the first process first level this much information is enough so i don't have to go through the, all the resumes right so this will happen even if you put in multiple resumes also so now first step is i'm going to check the uh, how, how this uh, you know chat gpt will provide me this summary so it's quite simple uh, it's is just like how we have done in the earlier video so before to that let me before i recreate do you demo with chat gpt okay so before you do this you should have the package installed in your machine which is first one is internal labs.gpt.activities and the second one is intelligent ocr.activities uipath.intelligent ocr.it so these two are the prerequisites you should have these two uh, installed in your machine these two packages installed in your uh, studio okay so once after that is done, what I'm reading uh, here is a PDF, right? The resume is in the PDF format. So for that, what I'm going to do here is I am going to digitize the document. So what is digitization? If you know the document understanding, you, you would have the idea about it. So this is, digitization is basically it will take the document. It will... Um, convert the document into a text format and it will have a document object model for that document okay so the output of it is a document text and also document object model so i'm gonna take the text as well as the dom okay so uh, i'm gonna pass this text okay uh, let me take as gpt this is the uh, from the GPT activities. Okay, taking as GPT and I'm passing the text over here. So what is the text? STR text. And here I should provide the questions list. Okay, so for time being, just for understanding purpose, I would say, what is the total years of experience? Okay, and the next question would be, what is my agenda? summarization right summarize the resume so these two are the questions that i am framing okay so what this chat gpt will do as gpt will do is it will summarize the whole resume and it will provide for me so this is the prompt that i'm providing for the chat gpt to answer me okay this is a question that i'm giving you can call it as a prompt uh, or a question so and the answer should be collected here okay So the answer should be collected in the list output. So what I'm doing here, I'm providing a message box and I am giving in here. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do, I have two questions, right? So the first question, so if you haven't seen the previous video, please do watch it because I have explained everything clearly. There, the output of it will be in the dictionary format, okay? So in the dictionary format, uh, how we will, you know, utilize the, how we will fetch the output here. Uh, here, I uh, gave the list output right here. The first question is total years of experience and this goes under the second question. And I wanted the answer. This is a key. Okay. Perfect. Right. So that's it. it. It will provide me the summary of that person. So here I'll just do one break point and I will show you how the output would actually looks like. But please do watch the previous video also. That will give you some other understanding of how we can use the text files like normal data without using document to understand. How we can perform that as well. You will be getting clear idea about it. Okay. So now 
it has digitized and it has come to ask GPT. So let's see the uh, string also. So if you see here, string, if you see, it has taken all the uh, data that's there in the resume uh, into a string format, okay? There's a whole string that will be given as an input, okay? And shortly i'll show you how it will be you know uh, done when you give directly in the chat gpt also after this video i'll show you that as well so after clicking on step into this will read the whole data and uh, it will uh, you know give you the answers the list of answers for the both questions okay so i will show you that so here if you see the list output right so just copy to clipboard and i will go and let me minimize this right floatings so i will give here so i have shown you yes uh, in the previous video so it has a three right it uh, sorry it has a two uh, outputs okay the dictionary contents so first one what is the first question how many years of experience right so it has six plus years of experience and where is the question here is the question. What is the total year of experience? Express year of experience. And here is the answer for the second question. Okay. Till here. Okay. And here is the question. Okay. So now uh, let me show you this part. Answer. Let's do step into. Here is the summary of the resume. Is a skilled professional, six plus years of into IT, four plus into RPA, agile methodologies and this. She has experience in handling this and our experience in different types of automations, GitHub subversion, uh, certificates of this and this and bachelor's degree. Perfect, right? So this, this much is needed for a hiring manager to go through the resume, right? To screen through the first level. So this is how we can do. So now... Um, I will also, uh, also show you one more thing, uh, which is, let me just uh, uh, share that part. So now I'm here in the chat GPT site. So now what I'm going to do here is, uh, we have this resume, right? Let me take this. Uh, I can copy this whole thing. So what I'll do is, I'll just provide here a prompt, okay? Summarize the resume. I'm providing the whole resume. Let's see what it will provide you. Perfect, right? So here, the same thing, whatever we are seeing here, but in a much detailed way that it has provided here along with, you know, college details and the, you know, uh, companies that the person has worked and everything. So a little bit more informative here. So the same way, it is the way that you, the same thing we have done in the Ask GPT also, because the input that we are providing here is the same text. We are providing the text and we are giving the prompt. Okay, so this is how we have done. And now what I'm going to do here is, so let's copy this thing. Uh, copy the output. Where is the output? Okay, let me run it quickly. I'll just run the file. What I'll do is I will change the prompt a little bit because the way you give the prompt also differs uh, because if you give good prompt or if you give, uh, you know, the, um, the to the point prompt, it will give you the same exact, exact kind of answer. So now what I'm going to do, I'll just... Achha, I kept it in the message box. Okay, no problem. I have it with me. Mm, let me show you that. So what I did is I just ran the previous one. So here I can see in the log message, uh, whatever the, you know, the uh, output that the bot has provided. So what I'm going to do is here, I will change um, the prompt. Okay, here we just kept the, let me... Here, we just kept summarize the resume, right? This is the prompt, okay? So now what I'm going to do here is I'll just add a little bit more detailing, okay? So I want to summarize the resume by mentioning about the candidate, if he or she has any extra skills along with the professional 
capabilities along with the projects and the exp experiences. So this is what I just wanted to provide in and I wanted to get the information on. So let me copy this. So I'm copying, this is the previous output. And now I'm going to, okay, uh, just, just I'll just stop this and, okay, no problem, let's just try. So why I'm doing this? Because uh, depending on the prompt that you provide, the output will be varying. So there is a concept called prompt optimization. So based on the prompt that you provide the uh, chat GPT, the output would vary. So now I will show you that practically. So if you see here, and let's let's compare the both, okay? Uh, so if you see here, and um, the candidate has six and four, six plus years of overall IT experience and worked on agile and all these things. She has worked on this, uh, they provided the certification and they've also provided the skills. So I have mentioned about the skills in the resume, right? Apart from that, uh, the, the, the previous ones doesn't have any skills. So here they have clearly mentioned about the skills like advanced to certified selenium robocop java oops concepts python because skills are also important while you screen the resumes at the level one right that's what the job descriptions deals about so here they have provided clearly about the skills and also about your apps and forms or different types of things right so this is how uh, i'll also show you one small example Just say okay so if you see here i have when i ran it uh, with a different prompt so here we can see uh, that the bot was providing different different uh, you know uh, outputs so here we can see that um, they have expertise in dealing projects with feasibility solution architecture solution design documentation development uat deployment and maintenance so these are also a little bit important when you go to a level where uh, you know the the these kind of things are important in the case of J job description right so uh, depending upon your requirement how you give the prompt the chat GPT will respond to you in the same way. So that's a different topic altogether. But uh, the whole agenda of uh, focus for this video is to show you how a summary can be generated based on that a two, three liner can be read easily by your hiring team and they can make a decision. But not just that, um, you know, we just involved attended automation into this a little bit. But if you wanted to leverage that also, if you uh, believe that, you know, chat GPT is 100% uh, good at giving you the results accurately, then you can leverage this to uh, leverage the capabilities to uh, more extent by, you know, bypassing the attended automation also. That we can see in the next video. Uh, I will show you. I'll just try to bring up that concept also. How we can match a resume with the job description and how we can fit, uh, make sure that the person fits that particular role. So that will also, I will show you in the next video. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, that will come into the part two. If you wanted to uh, see that video, please stay tuned by hitting the subscribe button and also hit the notification and do hit the thumbs up that will give me a lot of motivation i'll see you in the next video bye